Good. Now, last time we uh, we have a very interesting element in teaching is about lesson planning. And lesson plan is like um is like a guide, someone guiding you where to go, when to go, how to do this. So lesson planning is very important not only in the beginning of your career, but also once you uh, you have a good experience again. It's uh, as I told you, you are taking the train. There is the platform, it shows you the time, the date, the place where the train is going to go. Okay. From Rabat to Mohammedia to Casablanca to Stad to Marrakesh, etc. Okay. So without the date, without the time, without the place, you may not know where and when to go. Okay. It's the same like the lesson plan when you are teaching. Okay. Good. Now I want you to remind me of the, um, the components. Now, you are going to design your own lesson plan. Number one, as a lesson plan, it's something very important that will help me to do well in my class. I'm not going to get confused. I know when to start, how to start, and why I'm going to this activity. I know about the pair work, the group work. I know about the time for each activity, etc. So, you see the importance of designing your own lesson plan. Now, can you remind me of the major elements of lesson planning or lesson plans? Number one, the date. But you know, the major, uh, I may not consider the date as a major component. Let's start with this for putting it in order. Objectives. Good. When you want to start your lesson, number one, you ask yourself, at the end of the lesson, my students will be able to, to learn what? These are my objectives. So number one is a very major element when you are designing your own lesson plan. What are my objectives? Okay, how can I achieve my objectives? What are, how can I uh, meet the needs and wants of my learner? Good, objectives. Yes, what else? Stages. Stages, good. So we should be familiar. We are teaching grammar, there are certain stages. We are teaching the four scale, they are the same. What do we have? Pre, while, and post. Then in the pre, there are other stages. In the post, in the while, and the post, etc. Good, stages. Yes, what else? What about to mention in the method or approach in the lesson planning? Good. So, methods, what are these? Techniques, yeah, we can put them in techniques and the procedure also. Techniques, yes. Uh -huh. Are you going to use the direct, the direct method or inductive, deductive, okay, etc. The methods. Uh -huh. What else? Materials. Materials. Good. Mode of work. Yeah, give an example of material. An example. Uh, visual aids. So. Visual, okay. The text. Textbooks, so what's more? The whiteboard, the handouts, worksheets, okay. Materials, markers, okay. Uh huh. What about, yeah, objectives, stages, materials? Techniques. Techniques, very good. Eliciting, asking questions, these are techniques, okay. Using BA is a technique to reduce my TTT, to motivate, to attract. Good. So techniques, what else? Anticipated problems. At the end, you have to include what are the problems that students may face, the obstacles. Remember, if you are teaching speaking, my students may have this problem. They may not know how to pronounce <clears throat> the word. So it's a verb and a noun. No. No. So they may pronounce it the same. same. Uses. 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 I'm gonna write z. Uh, and that's the use. The use. So these are some obstacles that my students may face. Okay. And then you have plan B. If I'm gonna do this, it's very important. Abbreviation B stands for verb. Okay. And now so you are teaching the grammar, the form, part of speech. And pronunciation sounds good. Uh huh. Timing. Timing. It's really important. For each activity, for each stage, how much time are going to devote? How much time need my students? 
Warm up. How much time? Ten minutes. Ten time. Five minutes. Five minutes. It depends on the lesson. It depends on the lesson and the time. Five minutes maximum, I guess. But it depends. Three minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Um. The love. The post reading at the end. Post. After students finish, they are going to produce their own language. How much time? Uh, 10, 15, 20. It depends on the lesson on your students. Levels. Low level learners, high, fast learners. All the time you go back to your students' needs and wants. Good. Uh -huh. So techniques, materials, objectives. Excellent mode of work, patterns of interaction. Individual, pair, group, whole class. That's why instructions must be very yeah. clear. That's number one. Must be short. Simple. Short. Must be simple. And also you should use your body language. We are giving instructions. Okay. We we'll say to them, now I want you to answer question number four. Good. The students get confused. Question number four. Their work or group work? Then they talk. Some are working in groups, some in pairs, and some are alone. Okay. Then some, they are thinking about maybe it's 10 minutes, other three minutes. So the instructions were not clear. Do exercise number five. In pairs, three minutes. It's clear. Do you know it's three minutes? You know it's pairs because you cannot do it alone in groups. And you know the task is number five. Clear instruction. Good. There's something else? <clears throat> then we can talk about the date, the title, uh, the level of students, etc. Okay. So um, it's, it's really very interesting all the time in your class to design your own lesson plans. Uh, because the lesson plan will help you, will guide you, will save you, and will save your time. Okay. Yeah, any question about the, the previous lesson or session about lesson plan? Uh, can I have some worksheets? So yeah, I'm gonna share with them, yeah. That's why for the for the previous yeah, yeah, class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. No question? Okay, good. Now, classroom management. It's a very interesting topic. I still remember all the time when I um, uh, I'm trained. I mean, trainees and teachers, I go back to my um, high school phase or stage. When I was at the, uh, you know, at the high school, we, we knew some teachers. They were um, good teachers, and when you get into his or her classroom, no noise. And there are some teachers, okay, you see and you hear a lot of disorder, a lot of confusion. It's the same school, the same teachers, the same students. But why students go to this class, they are quiet. Then they move to the next class with another teacher, there is confusion. There is disorder, there is noise. Okay. It's due to or because of classroom management. management. <laughs> And here there are two keywords. Classroom is everything that is taking place in the classroom. In the classroom. And management. It comes from the verb to manage. manage. To manage, what does it mean? To run. To run. To run. To run. To run. To administer. To control. Good. To administer. To organize. To organize. To run, to organize, to control, etc. Okay, good. I'm gonna distribute these white papers. Okay. I want you just to write three words or four words that comes to your mind when you hear classroom management. Classroom management. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Write four words. You can ask anything, no problem. Okay, okay you are done? Yes. yes. Alright. Now, I want you, if you are going to put them into order, which word would you, would you choose? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Choose the first one. Now you have four or three. The first one that comes to our mind. Yeah. That you think has a strong relationship with classroom management. So choose the first one. 
So you have got full words, choose the first one. You can circle the first one. Okay. Now, 